little while ago, one of my channel subscribers uh, expressed the hope that one day I might post a video about cocktail piano, um, sometimes known as lounge bar piano. Okay, um, so here it is. In this in this one, I'm just going to take a very very broad overview of um, the cocktail style, um, which is surprising. It can it can look flashy and and and, um, and show offy, but actually it's surprisingly easy to play, and it's also surprisingly easy to uh, to enjoy playing. Actually, it's really relaxing and fun. Um, cocktail piano is one of those genres that I, I'd rather play than listen to. It's it's a little bit dull to listen to really it's designed to be background music it's elevator music if you like it doesn't mean to say there isn't sort of quality and thought and intelligence that goes into it but it's not it's not challenging it's not it's not the sort of thing that's going to lift you to any sort of peak of emotion it's just really kind of easy listening music okay so cocktail pianists tend to use um broadway standards show tunes jazz standards that kind of thing and the song I'm going to use as an example is, uh, in that tradition, Rogers and Hart's Blue Moon, which you might know. Okay, um, so I'm going to play that in a cocktail style, lounge bar style, whatever you want to call it, um, and then talk about some of the stuff that I've been doing. I'm going to stay away from the melody, I'm just going to focus on the chord sequence. One of the reasons I've chosen Blue Moon is because the chord sequence is, is really dead easy to remember. Okay, here we go. and cheesy um, great fun to play really really good fun to play and like I was saying not at all difficult and um, what do you need to know the number one thing you need to know for playing cocktail bar piano is your chords okay if you've got a basic good familiarity and confidence with the way your chords work you'll have no problem with this style at all okay it's a case of taking the basic chord sequence of your song so let's look at the chord sequence of Blue Moon the verse is dead easy E flat, C minor, F minor, B flat, and it just repeats. Okay, dead easy. Um, it's about taking those chords and knowing how to extend them, but not too far, not as far as you would go with, say, jazz, you know, creating really weird and way out chords, but just a little bit. So taking that. E flat chord and making it say into a E flat major seven, or maybe an E flat major nine. Quite rarely, taking that C minor and making it into a C flat, a C minor seven, or maybe a C minor nine. Okay, for those rich, lush sounds. Okay, taking your B flat chord and adding dominant seventh and a sixth. Okay, if you know your chords, this is easy because, well, you need to practice, obviously. But all you need to do is string them together. Okay, in a, in a, 
quite simple style with the different additions and the extensions and let it kind of flow into your hands, okay? Now to start with, you might find yourself doing this. And that's fine, do it over and over again, just playing the chords, experimenting with them. It's probably the best way to start, yeah? Loads and loads of this. Until eventually you'll start doing things like splitting the chords. Okay, I'm not playing any complicated melody there, it's all split chords. A little bit of melody, split chord, split chords. Get hold of a book of show tunes, um, ideally, rather than just standard. Show tunes tend to have really lovely simple chords um, and, and play around with it, okay? Focus on chord sequences. Um, Internalise that chord sequence, say, from Blue Moon, which is easily available and cheap musical online. And just play around and play around, and eventually that kind of style will come fairly naturally. The other thing is the left hand is really easy, okay? You barely have to do anything. You can just keep it as simple as one note. Okay, really easy. Even better than that, lounge piano is all about um, rubato, to use a technical term, to really stretch and play around with the rhythms, okay, to, to really make big pauses between your chords. So if you're not sure, oh god, where am I going next? Uh, 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 oh, oh yeah, F minor 7. It doesn't make any difference. You can take your time between chords. Uh, oh, what's the next one? B flat 7, and then added 6. Okay, so we can really think about it. The more chilled out, the better. Okay, it's the kind of thing that's really good to practice late at night when you're really relaxed um, use your favorite chilling out product uh, as I am doing here um, and, and just you know kind of take it easy the other thing that's useful to know getting a little bit more technical is um, some arpeggios if you have uh, had piano lessons you'll know what arpeggios are broken chords okay and this is the reason your piano teacher taught you them because you can do things like this Okay, which sounds lovely, okay? It's a little bit more difficult. All I'm fundamentally doing is going up a broken chord. Coming down is much harder. Okay, again, looks kind of impressive. It's quite fun to play, sounds cool, good for ingressing girls at parties, but not really, really hard if you practice it. Okay, so that's Cocktail Piano. Um, not sure where people want to take this. If you have any questions or comments or anything that doesn't make sense, stick them in the comments thread. As, as you know, if you're a regular uh, watcher, I'll, I'll always answer questions. Um, I'm not saying it's super, super easy if you're a real dead beginner pianist, but you don't have to be great. The secret is to really know your chords. After knowing your chords, if you want to put kind of runs in, the secret is to know your scales. This is why your piano teacher taught you your scales. So you can do simple improvisations on Blue Moon. See, uh, I got lost there, so I had to think about it. It doesn't really matter because it's really chilled out. Okay. Um, so yeah, know your chords. Know your scales to a lesser extent and this will come. If you're unsure about chords and stuff, you might consider buying my book, How to Really Play the Piano, which goes through all the chords in massive detail and it's got really good, well I think it's really good, really good sort of look at the chapter where you can uh, find out all about the chords you need to know if you're working from a basic piece of sheet music which has only got basic chords written in. Like I said, any questions, comments, insults, um, you know, whatever, whack them in the comment thread, I will more than happily uh, respond to you. Okay, thanks for listening.